touch it. It's not going to affect me or it's not going to affect you. It's not because I'm not going to receive that. Amen. I'm not going to allow the devil to speak death into my life. I'm going to speak life. I'm going to speak the words of life. Amen. Marcus talked about them steps this morning. I can see them steps. You can see. I can see them steps. They they, they come down. They were they turned. They, they made a big swoop and turn, and that water just flowing right down the center of them. The water of life. The water of freedom. Amen. The water of mercy. The water of grace. Flowing down those stairs. Amen. Flowing from the throne of God. Amen. Into our lives. Not just not just in, into the ground, but into our lives and into our hearts and into our beings. And filling us up from, from our toes all the way to the tops of our head. Running over. Amen. Flowing out of us. Amen. The, the love and the mercy of God. In our lives, it's an exciting time to be alive. But don't be deceived. There are those that out there that would like to deceive the men and women of God. Uh, they, they begin to want to talk about this same uh, group and wanted to talk about uh, not uh, wanting to know why a preacher get behind a pulpit and, uh, and wearing his t-shirt and his flip-flops. I don't think God was crucified on a Jesus wasn't crucified on a clothesline. Hey Amen, that ain't got nothing to do with the power of God's in somebody's life. Hey, if we're looking on the outside, we're looking in the wrong place to begin with. Hey Amen, we need to be with God. He don't, he don't see the outside. He sees the hearts of men. That's not me. That's Bible. Hey Amen, that's not Josh. That's the Word. That's what he says. Hey Amen. I know that in the house of God, there's order. Absolutely. And God will always be at the front and the forefront of everything that happens. Amen. In my life in this church, as long as me and Marcus are in the pulpit or Gillis is in the pulpit or Bill's teaching Sunday and whatever's going on, the praise team, Jamie, we will always have God at the front of everything that happens. We will never uh, put ourselves or esteem ourselves above any, any, anything that God's got going on. We'll never hinder God. We'll never push God to the side. If God wants to move, we're going to let Him move. If He wants to uh, shout, we're going to let Him shout. Amen. If they want to worship, we're going to let Him worship. Amen. Uh, we will not dictate. Amen. Man cannot dictate and have a successful church by man trying to dictate uh, from the pulpit what goes on. Not going to be partakers. You know, I told you Wednesday night about those, that guy we seen preaching out in the middle of all those drunk people. Michael was just blown away, but that's exactly where Jesus would have been. He said he didn't come, amen, to call the righteous, amen, but he, he came to seek and to save those that which were lost, amen. He, he, he come to find those that which were lost, those that were in need of a physician, amen, those that needed a doctor, amen, the well people, they don't need a doctor. Amen, it's those sin sick people, they, they're the ones that need Jesus, amen, you and I, Amen, we've got to grow up. Amen, you and I have got to start eating on the meat of the Word. Quit dr we've drank milk long enough. Amen, it's time for us to grow up. Amen, now, there's people that are lost and dying. Amen, in a world, amen, that in hell is still enlarging itself by leaps and bounds every day. There are people falling off and falling off and falling off and the church just sits back on their hands and does nothing. They worry about their four and no more. This is... My church right here, I'm just going to worry about what's here. Oh, no, you can't come in. You're not a, we don't want outsiders in. We don't want to let, we don't, you know, Jesus said that's who he was found with. The sinners and the publicans. The people that nobody else wanted to be around. Amen. The prostitutes, the, the bad people, the drunkards. That's who, yet we, yet we push those people aside. Amen. I don't care if they're drunk, they come in the house of God, sit in the pulpit, they're going to hear the word. Amen. God will sober them up right where they sit. Amen. If they, they're not in their right mind, they will be in just a minute. Amen. Uh, God the Holy Ghost to get a hold of them. Amen. Uh, shake them around and slap them silly and straighten them right back up. That's what we're going to believe God for. Not, not that, that we're going to push them aside. God wants to set those people free. Love never fails. Love never fails. But where there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, it shall vanish away, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. Because we don't know. We know not the day nor the hour. Amen? That our Lord cometh. But it says in verse 10, but when that which is perfect, there was only one perfect that I can think of. Amen? There was only one perfect, Sister Jewel, that I can think of, and 
That was he that knew no sin that became sin for us. Amen? That was he that came and climbed upon the cross. I'm not... I, they didn't have to fight him. You ever... I always revert back to that, you know, that, that, that movie. Yeah. The, the Passion of the Christ. He, he didn't fall down and try to get up and take off running and then have to grab him and, and force him down. No. He wretched and he grabbed it. Amen? And he embraced the cross and he rolled upon it and he gladly placed himself there for you and I. But when that which is perfect comes, <laughs> I get excited when I think when that which is perfect comes. But when Jesus comes, all that stuff will be out of the world because there won't be nobody left. There'll be a, after the rapture, the only way that you'll make it is it'll cost you your life. It'll cost you your life. You won't be able just to walk into a church house and have a seat and sit back there and listen to that good old preacher. Boy, he's really got it going on. Boy, he preached a good message tonight. And let it go in one ear and right out the other. And we get out and we walk out the door and we leave and we're never changed. Well, the same way that we came in is when we go back out. We're not no more free. We're not no more uh, redeemed. We're not no more uh, loosed. We're, not, we're, we're the same bound, afflicted, uh, run over, beat up individual we were when we walked in. When that which is perfect is come. I can guarantee you the day after that the church houses will be absolutely full of people but it won't do them any good. The time will be up. That window of opportunity. That window of opportunity. Just as the same as it was. Man, that guy said the other day, he said, just as it was in the days of Noah when he was standing up there preaching, didn't he, Micah? He said, so will it be at the same as the coming of the Son of Man. And all I can think about is when the Bible, when it says that Noah entered into the ark with his family and God shut the door. When God shut the door. It didn't say when Marcus shut the door. It won't say when Josh shut the door. But when God shut the door, it was over. There wasn't no second chance. There wasn't no, God, I'll come this time. Or, God, I'll live for you now. God, I'll serve you now. It was over. It'll be over. It will cost you your life. It will be a terrible time to be alive, Bill. Those years of great tribulation. I'm sure they'll, they'll burn Bibles. They'll, they'll uh, be beheading people that proclaim Christ. They'll cut their heads off. It'll be a bloodbath. It'll be a terrible, terrible time to be alive. I don't want to scare anybody. God wants to encourage you tonight. God, God wants you to know that the, the door is still open. The door is still open. That's what he's trying to say. The door is still open. Don't, don't, don't allow yourself to wait until that time when he says that God shut the door. Don't allow that which is perfect to come and you to miss it. Be aware and be ready. Be watchful. I guarantee if you're in this church, you won't be asleep. Amen. If you're in this church, you'll be awake. You'll be looking for him. You'll be looking for him. Hey Amen. He may not come today, but he may come tomorrow. Man, when he said that about Noah, I've been thinking about all the rain that we've been having. Come on. Everybody's like, Lord, I wish it'd rain again. I say, bring down the rain. Bring down the rain. Hey Amen. I bet in Noah's day, whenever that rain started falling from the sky, I bet they wasn't saying, oh, Lord. Hey Amen. But that which is perfect has come. Then that which is in part shall be done away because it'll be over with. That part will be null and void. It'll be over with. But to be aware that there are people out there that are teaching false doctrine and they're not believing. But listen, the gifts of the Spirit are alive and well in the church of God. Amen. In God's house, the gifts of the Spirit are at work. Amen. <coughs> the gifts of the Spirit, the gifts of the power of God are at work more now. I think, man, I think he's pouring his spirit out upon more people now than he ever has. I think there's more evidence of it now. You know, I, I, I was talking about, you know, I think there's more, you know, evidence, you know, seeing everything that's going on in the world that, man, you know, just, the, you know, the restraining, the, the, God, the praying people of God has got to be the only thing that's holding this, play, this thing together, Marcus. Has got to be. There's nothing, I mean, nothing holding him back except for mercy that there's one more that there's one more amen that there's one more that will come to the altar amen just one more hey and when that one more comes it may not be here it may be thousands of miles away and you may not know anything about it but at that moment 
We'll be out of here. Amen. Be on alert. Be awake. Don't be asleep. Be vigilant. Be watching. Be looking. We live in a great, great time. Jamie, if you're a Christian, we get a song. Amen. We'll worship God one more time. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.